doesn't look great. I tried to film this yesterday at the marina because it was beautiful out, but uh, very windy. Didn't work. That's what you get though, by the sea. I can't even be angry, that's nature. That's not on Dingle, that's on me. I'm in Dingle, by the way. We've been here about two weeks and I kind of love it. I'm kind of settled in. There's only about four streets, so it's pretty easy to uh, get your bearings. And this place we're in, uh, we're here for another week and then we moved to like a permanent place. We found some real cool cottages and all eight of us are gonna be <laughs> in three different houses next to each other. So that's gonna be good. Went to the aquarium in the first week and I saw a fish that looked like a potato. I'd learned how to swim. And then we went out to Skellig Michael on a boat. Skellig is a big island. It used to be uh, monks lived there. It was a scorching hot day and <laughs> it's beautiful. Been eating a lot of pasta. Last week I pictured myself at 75 years of age just surrounded by grandkids going, gather close and hearken to the tale of my time in Dingle. By the first week I thought I was more pasta than man. Too lazy to get my other notebook, so I'll just put it up on screen. Before I came here, I, I, I made a list of, of things I had to pack but I deal in visuals. I can't, I can't read a list. So I decided to draw out everything I was gonna bring to scale to see if it looked like a lot of stuff because I was terrified of overpacking. I thought it was like quite a clever idea. And I showed it to Annie and she was like, that's uh, an insane person would do that. So you must be insane because you've done it. Annie's been working for the last few weeks in a post-production house in town. And you know, we've been talking about the rat race, just dealing with the rat race, you know? And then she starts saying she's just letting the rats wash over her and she's just snuggling in under the rats, just having a nice little just snuggle under the rat race. And then she starts sending me pictures of rats in bed and telling me it's her just snuggling in under the rat race. And I'm insane. You can't do that and then call someone else insane. We're both mental. Anyway, Dingle. On Saturday, we went paintballing and much like last time, my whole body hurts. Uh, it's filming this Thursday and my legs still hurt to the touch but getting up out of chairs is less slapstick comedy than it was a few days ago. After paintball on Saturday, we were all shattered. So we came back here and just lay in the hallway because it's carpeted and there was enough space for us all to just splay out and convalesce. And, uh, and then we made a little nest out of blankets and pillows and we watched The Breakfast Club. And then my friend Jess was like, hey, I've never seen Community. Would you mind showing it to me? And I was like, ha, would I mind? And she's asked a couple times since and it's just top. I just get to, yeah, I'll show you Community. Sure, I guess it's the best. Uh, that was a fun day. We also drove up Slayhead one day and it was just gorgeous. Like this bit of the country, it's not bad now. This place we're in now is just uh, the upstairs of somebody's house that they convert into an apartment. But we live above the two sweetest people so it hasn't been an issue at all. There, there are little doors around the place, like attic storage doors and they're all locked. Uh, I came home a bit locked myself. The other, no, uh, I was like slightly tipsy from the pub. And I was kind of spooking myself because I keep thinking, yep, yeah, those doors are just where the gremlin lives. He just passes through the walls, takes the bins out, I think. If we haven't had to do it yet, so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and then I spooked myself further because I walked down the hall to my bedroom, just opening the door, and as I was like opening it, I was just thinking, yeah, okay, don't worry, there's just going to be a big naked man there now, just fully naked, just under my covers, just peeking out how I it Didn't happen, which was top because I don't know how I would have dealt with it. Just update you real quick. I'm making that zine. I never announced the name of it for no reason at all. It's called Chump. Uh, so that's locked in. Nobody can take it. Um, and I have thumbnailed out one little thing since I've been here, but honestly I haven't done that much more on it because I've been kind of settling in, but it will get done because I want to read this thing more than anybody else in the world. I mentioned a podcast a while ago. I'm tentatively calling it Adventure Buddies and people are up for it and pretty soon I'm going to start teaching them how to play and then I left all my mics and stuff and my mixer up in Dublin. Uh, I think my parents are, when they come visit, they'll just bring it down and then we're going to start playing D&D &D for real. Lastly, there's been three fucking huge spiders that, I mean, I think they should be paying rent uh, around the house over the last couple of weeks. Simon got rid of the first one. My friend Colin was over, he got rid of the second one. The third one, Simon was in bed. It's just me and Jess sat at the kitchen table quite late, just working away. And uh, she spotted it behind me and I just was like, no, and stood up and walked to the other side of the room and was like, sorry, can't do it. She spent like five minutes with a lunchbox, just psyching herself up like, <sighs> Oh, and she'd get close and be like, oh, I can't do it. Sorry, sorry, you're on my knees. She did it though, fair play. I never would have. Eventually she like slapped the lunchbox over it, got some paper and then was just holding this fucking massive spider. And uh, because we're in like an attic conversion, we have those slanted Velux windows. So my plan was to just open it, throw it out. Forget about your lunchbox, I'll buy you a new one. But there was a TV in the way. So like it was, it was a bit of a leap. So I was like, right, that won't work. We went downstairs, opened our door. One, two, three. She threw the lunchbox outside. I slammed the door closed and we ran back upstairs like children. Those spiders are really the only negative thing about this place. People are lovely and it's beautiful here. 
and I'm having loads of fun. Goodbye.